Minecraft squids were the strongest mob in Minecraft. You'd say I'm lying, right? Well, normally that would be true. However, I have gone ahead and turned squids into the Kraken in Minecraft. And now I'm gonna be turning into the Kraken to see if I can survive 100 days against three fishermen with insane fishing gear. Oh, look, I'm a tiny little squid. Oh, God, and there are the fishermen right up there. No, we don't think they see me yet, which is good because I'm going to try and swim away. Because as a squid, I can't go on land. At least not yet anyway. I have an upgrade menu where I'll be able to walk on land later. But for right now, I am literally stuck. Guys, I think I see a squid over there. Oh, God, they see me. Squid. Oh, let's get out of here. Get him. Oh, God, I can only swim so fast. I'm so slow as a baby squid. Okay, here's the thing, though. I'm a squid. I can just dive all the way down here, and they shouldn't be able to get me because I have full bubbles and they don't. However, I have no supplies. So all they have to do is wait above me for me to have to go for some wood. This is going to be tricky. Okay, I'm going to quickly go for some wood because they're all behind me. We're going for it. But like I said earlier, on land, I am super weak and super slow. So this is going to be extremely dangerous. We're going for it. Okay, we're on land. Let's coolly just break this. Oh god, they're throwing something at me. Oh god, what's being thrown at me? Is that a trident? Oh, they're throwing a trident at me. I see him. I'm coming. No, I missed. Okay, grab logs. We need at least two. Okay, hold on. Oh, swim. Go, 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 go. Oh, they're on me. They're literally right behind me. Swim down. Oh, oh I'm poisoned. Dive, 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 dive. Now I have water breathing and they don't. So I should be safe if I keep diving. Oh, they're on me. Oh, they got me again. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's lose them in the caves down here. Oh, I'm so low on HP. I can lose them down here. Okay, this is a dead end. We don't want to be in this cave. Oh, one of them's close. I insured one of them. Oh, he's dying. He's actually chasing me. Oh, he's done. Oh, he's going for the magma. He's going for the magma. Oh, God. I got to get out of here. Just keep swimming. Okay, I don't think they see me right now. One of them just drowned. I'm not built for this. I'm really not built for this. I'm not built for this. And the other two are way behind me. Okay, let's go for some more wood. Come on. Oh, God. I have slowness. Okay, quick. We're going to grab this full tree. Okay, I don't think they know where I am because I don't see them right now. But with this much wood, this will definitely be enough to start a base. Oh, we're being thrown at. He sees us. Dive. Get over here. Okay, we're diving deep. We have to lose him here. We're diving deep quick. Here we go. Ready? We fit through this one block gap. Dude, he's going through the thing. I'm chasing. I'm going after him here. He's drowning. He's drowning. He's drowning. Keep him away. <laughs> no. He's trying to pull me in. Help me. Nice. We got him. He drowned. We got to find a spot to hide. We got to find a spot to hide. Let's go over here. I have an idea. Let's find a good water cave. One that they won't be able to just like swim through. Let's check down here. Okay. Some decent areas there. Let's check up here. Oh, we got a big water cave here. Oh, let's go down here. Let's make our base down here. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting table. Now let's go ahead and make some sticks. And let's make a wooden pickaxe. Now let's quickly make a stone pickaxe. Now, just in case they come after me, let's make a stone sword. Now we're gonna make a stone axe, grab our crafting table, and let's go deeper in this water cave. Okay, I reached the end of the water cave. Let's build the base literally just right here in the wall. Okay, so I think I'm safe for a second down in this water cave. Now, normally at this point, I would start working on a base so I could stay organized and work on my squid upgrades and eventually become a literal kraken. But if I'm on land, you're gonna notice I get slowness too. And I really don't like that at all. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock land strider, which will get rid of slowness on land. Now to get that, we need 64 dirt, 64 logs, and four leather boots. And since we've lost the fisherman for now, now, let's quickly go get all those supplies. Okay, we've got all the logs we need, so now we just need dirt and leather boots. Now, let's quickly make a crafting table, and let's craft ourselves a shovel and grab 64 dirt. Okay, we've got the 64 dirt, and now we just need 16 leather to make four sets of leather boots. But first, let's get some food. Okay, whoa! Okay, we got all the leather we need, but literally, as I said, that the fisherman just showed up. Oh, God. Hold on. We gotta run. I have an idea. We can lead him to mobs. Oh, I'm so slow though. They're faster than me on land. I forgot. Yes, go creepers, go creepers. Oh god. Oh, we're in trouble. Run. Oh god. Getting the creepers off. Oh, no! Everybody. One of them just blew up. Okay, that's good. That's good. We needed that. Oh! Oh, I don't have a shield. Oh my- Oh, he's done. He's done. We killed him. We killed him. We killed him. Okay, there's only one more. He's up there. Oh, he just got me. He just got me. E -d -d. Swim away. Swim away. Use this to get some height. I have an idea. I took a lot of damage there for no reason. It's worth it. It's worth it. He missed. Oh. Oh. Nice. We got him. He's low. Yes. Okay. We did it. Okay, the fishermen are dead. And now that we have all the leather we need, let's quickly go ahead and craft ourselves four sets of leather boots. And now we can unlock Land Strider so we no longer have slowness while we're running on land. Which means we're no longer just a squid of the sea, but one that can, you know, walk on land too. Um, don't question it, okay? It makes sense. Not really. Okay, now that we've got Land Strider unlocked, let's go ahead and let's build a base inside these water caves. So that way we can work on the other upgrades and stay organized while we do it. Now that I can go on land, I built my first squid base with ease. And on day 10, it was finally complete. Okay, so welcome to my new squid base. This base is literally incredible. So 
as you can see, the entire base is underwater, which is why it took so long to build, because I felt like if I was a squid, the safest base for me is definitely full of water. So if we swim down this little pathway here, we'll end up back in the base. And from here, it's pretty basic. We just have our furnace area, chest area, and our bed. But that's literally all we need for now. So this base will hold up perfectly. But because it's already day 11, we really got to start working on some of our squid combat upgrades. And the first one we can unlock is called Inked, where just like a squid, I can shoot ink and blind anyone I'm fighting. Now to unlock it, I need to gain Dolphin's Grace, kill 20 fish, and kill two of the fishermen, which you know I'm gonna do. And you're gonna notice something crazy. We've already gained the Dolphin's Grace ability simply because with our Land Strider upgrade, we also get Dolphin's Grace in water. So since we already have it, we already did the first quest, meaning all we gotta do now is kill 20 fish and two fishermen. Okay, so let's just find 20 fish to kill, because I'm assuming fish spawn in this lake somewhere. Do glow squid count as fish? I'm sorry, squid brethren. Okay, they don't count as fish. It still says zero. Do fish even spawn in this lake? Okay, so it turns out fish don't even spawn in this giant lake. So I gotta go find a different one. Okay, boom, some fish finally spawned. There we go, I found some. Okay, we've killed 20 fish, and it's good timing because the sun is starting to set. So let's just go loot this nether portal right here, and now let's head on home. Okay, so we're currently back at the base, and all I need left is two more fishermen kills. But I honestly have no idea where their base is. I know they're not anywhere around spawn. That's where my base is. So they really could be anywhere. So we're going to start looking for them today, and hopefully find them so we can get our two fishermen kills. Okay, so just before I left spawn, I did another double check around the edges of this weird cave thing, and they're definitely not still here. So let's go looking for them. On days 13 and 14, I looked for the fisherman's base and since i saw where they came from before they likely live somewhere to the south oh i found a village Let's check it out real quick okay crops are still here yeah no this doesn't look looted wait, wait wait where's the door on this building shouldn't this building have a door oh this ain't right right hold on let me look around this village okay there's definitely no one in this village i looked everywhere we're gonna keep moving on i think someone tampered with that village they could be nearby so let's just keep going down the river oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute that's not a natural house i think this could be them oh in another village this is definitely them i knew someone had to be close by oh my god i see one of them literally right there they multiple houses okay i see two of them right there we're gonna go for him ready you guys see any more squids around here oh, oh there's another squid it's a baby one and it hurts oh yes okay we got a sneak attack in the water oh i see one over there okay i'm in their base literally another one over there too oh he built up i was not expecting that oh my gosh shot. oh we almost got him there he's gotta be low he's gotta be low i want that one no! Yes, we got him! That's both kills! Okay, quick, go, 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 We have Dolphin's Grace. Go! Okay, quickly, unlock the ability. Oh, we just got hit. Oh, the poison! Okay, we don't have slowness, though. Now we can blind them to get away. Come here. Oh, what is that? What the? I just dropped my... <laughs> okay, he's blinding in. Let's go. Oh, I see one of them. I see one of them. But he's slow. And I'm fast with my Dolphin's Grace. We are out of here. Okay, so we unlocked our first combat ability, which is called... <laughs> where anyone we ink becomes blind and slow for 15 seconds. And honestly, it made it super easy for me to escape that battle. It's time to upgrade our squid from a tiny inkling into, well, a squid. Now to do this, I need 24 ink sacks, 24 fish, and nine water buckets. And since the nine water buckets are easy, well, and the fish, because I already have 14, let's quickly do those two quests. So first things first, let's go ahead and let's make nine buckets. And now let's simply just grab water around the base. And we have nine total water buckets. And now let's just kill a bunch of fish until we have 24. Okay, just like that, we already have the 24 fish and nine water buckets complete. And all we need left is 24 ink sacks, so we just gotta go kill some squids. Okay, we got eight ink sacks, but it's already nighttime, so let's head on home and grab the rest tomorrow. Oh god, I see their names. They're starting to get close to the base. They may have found it. Okay, maybe they won't find my secret path this way. I'm certain this is gonna get really bad. Oh yeah, I see him in there. I see him in there. Oh no. Oh, he knows where I am. Oh no, no, they're destroying it. Oh, I'm breaking his bed. I'm, oh, I'm breaking the bed. I broke the bed, I broke the bed. <laughs> Uh, use your tools, use your tools. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, I killed one, I killed one. No, they're literally destroying my chest. Oh my God, I'm doing it, I'm breaking it. Just distract him, stop. Ah! My stuff, my stuff, my stuff, my stuff, my stuff. Oh, no. Oh, dude, they literally took everything. All my stuff was in those chests. Oh my God, it's happening. I'm the goat. No, no, I'm dead. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, no. Nice, we killed him. Oh, dude, no. They literally destroyed the base. Like, I was able to get some of my stuff back, but, like, I kind of like the underwater base. This took forever to set up, too. I've literally got to make a new one. There's no way I can stay here. From days 18 to 24, I simply worked on making the squid base 2.0. And trust me, this base definitely won't be found. Okay, welcome to the brand new base. It's definitely not as cool as the other one, but it still is underwater in a glass box, and that's good enough for me. But now with the new base finished, let's work on 
got our next combat upgrade, the barb tentacle, which basically lets me shoot out a tentacle and can drag and throw people around everywhere. But first we gotta unlock it. And to do that, we need to pick an axolotl up in a bucket, reach max build height and kill four of the fishermen. So let's start by doing the easiest bit and going to max build height. So let's just grab some cobblestone. Now let's start building up right here, right next to some water. And now we're just gonna go up until we reach the top of the world. And there we go, we've reached the max build height, which means our first quest is complete. So now we're just gonna jump down and I forget which Bruh. direction the water's in. Oh God. Okay, we're going down. We got this. The water's definitely here, 100%. No, it's not. Oh, we're still good though. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, there we go. We did the first quest. Now let's go find an axolotl and scoop it in a bucket since I've seen a few of those around spawn anyway. So let's grab some iron, make a bucket, and now let's go find an axolotl. Okay, I'm back at spawn. I know earlier on the first day, I literally saw an axolotl in and around this area. So I want to check it out and see if I can find another one. My best bet is to look over here. So that's where I'm going to look for now and just see if I can find any in these side caves. Oh, literally right here. Here's a pink one. Get over here, buddy. I missed. Get in my bucket. Yes, we got him. We have an axolotl in a bucket, which means now we just need four kills on the fishermen. So before I go home, let's make that easier by grabbing some diamonds. Because since there's no fishermen around, I can easily grab the diamonds that are hidden everywhere down here. It's a diamond sword. And since we still have some remaining, let's make ourselves a diamond chest plate and a diamond helmet. Now let's bring our diamond sword over to the enchanting table and let's get it sharpness one. Then we'll enchant our diamond chest plate with protection one and our diamond helmet with protection one as well. And now with those enchantments, we should easily be able to get the kills we need on the fishermen. So now with some enchanted diamond tools, we should definitely be able to take on those fishermen. But just to guarantee I don't die, I'm actually gonna quickly make a bow. So let's craft one, grab our two arrows, and now just make ourselves a few extra arrows. And after throwing the bow quickly in the enchanter and giving it power one, we were ready to start heading to the fisherman's base. Okay, because I look like a regular squid i actually should blend in and not stand out in the water okay i literally see their base just up ahead we can disguise ourselves as a normal squid here and they will be none the wiser he doesn't even realize bro what the yes okay blend in blend in blend in oh they got me no he found me i see him i see him he's right here oh he was killing the wrong squid no Oh, okay, we're hurting, we're hurting, we're hurting. Let's ink them, let's ink them. Okay, one of them's blind. Oh, I dropped my sword. No, my sword. Oh, we killed them, yes! Okay, let's quickly eat some food. And who's gonna try and get us? I can blind them from all the way over here. They're both blind. Nice, use that blindness. Let's dive in the water and let's disappear. Okay, let's get over here to their house. We got two of the kills we need. That power one bow definitely didn't feel good. It poisons me even through my shield. Uh <laughs> Oh, I killed the bolt. That's four of four. Boom, we're taking some damage. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're healing. Get up here. Okay, here we go. Let's unlock the barbed tentacle. Okay, quick combat. Barbed tentacle, we've unlocked it. It's in our inventory. We have the tentacle. Okay, they're on us. Okay, let's use it. How much damage does this thing do? Not much. Okay, oh. Okay, let's get in the water. We're faster in the water. Okay, let's go back this way. Nice, we have him hooked. We have him hooked. In the boat. Oh, he's pulling me. Ah! Oh, no. Yes, yeah, see, look. We got him with our tentacle and it killed him. Let's go. Oh, God. This way. Nice. We got him tricked. And your tentacle. Come on. Ow. Oh, dude, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Help. Help. <laughs> nice. We got him. One more. Let's tentacle this guy. Quick. We got him. Ow. We got him. We can swim away. My, oh, yeah. my God. And he's dead. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. Gosh, that tentacle is so OP. Okay, we survived attacking them and unlocked our brand new tentacle ability, which turns out to be super OP. So now that we've unlocked that, I want to actually spend a day and just gather up a bunch more food. We only have 23 steak left and a few raw chicken, and that's not really going to last me that long. So let's quickly go grab a bunch of food. Okay, well, all the food smelts behind me. Okay, well, all the food cooks behind me. It's time to work on our next upgrade, which is the tentacle grapple. And to unlock it, I need 64 string, 32 coral, and 12 iron ingots. Now, I've clearly already got the iron ingots done. So we just need the coral and the string, which should be super easy. So let's start by going and grabbing 32 coral, because that's super easy and there's a warm ocean nearby. And then we'll start killing some spiders for their string. Okay, we're at a coral field. So let's just go and grab a bunch of coral and it will turn into dead coral, which is still fine because it still counts as coral. So let's grab a bunch of this. Okay, we have 32 dead brain coral in our inventory. And if we look at the upgrade, we have 32 out of 32 coral complete. So now we just need the 64 string and we're done. So let's go down to the mine shaft and let's start killing some spiders. Okay, and there we 
go. We've officially gotten all of the string that we need from these cave spiders. So now let's go back to the base and let's unlock the tentacle grapple and try it out. Okay, and I officially have all of the iron string and coral that I need to unlock the tentacle grapple, which is this guy right here. Now this thing not only works like a grappling hook that lets me grapple into high places, but it also works just like a diamond pickaxe, shovel, and axe. So this tentacle is pretty OP. I honestly love the grapple feature because I can definitely just climb walls like this. Ooh. But you get what I mean. Anyway, with the tentacle grapple unlocked, it's time to work on the constrict ability, which will basically make it so any player or mob near me within 15 blocks can't move anymore because they're trapped in my tentacles. Oh, and they get wither and blindness for 15 seconds. And that also sounds really broken. So let's unlock it. We just need to kill two elder guardians, kill 30 guardians, and get six kills on the fishermen. So let's go ahead and start looking for a water temple so we can quickly get all those guardian kills. I look for a water temple for days, and instead of finding it, I found the fish fisherman instead oh i see the fisherman oh do they see me oh god they may see me oh hide behind the nether portal hide, hide, hide. okay i don't think they saw me hold on let's loot this thing oh oh he saw me he just saw the chest open there's a thing here gold block i'm gonna grab it he saw me he saw me oh god cool <laughs> ah, the dude he's here oh no he didn't he didn't see me oh let's get him with our tentacle let's get him with the tentacle grapple oh no that's the wrong one that's the grapple this one yeah we got him he's done nice we got him okay let's destroy the boats let's destroy it okay let's get him let's get him he's trying to run Come on. Okay, let's get him with the tentacle again. Oh, no, he's trying to run again. We should swim faster than his boat. We got him. We got him. Oh, no. This is it. He's tentacled. Yes, we got him with the tentacle. We got him with the tentacle. Dude, this tentacle's broken. Let's go. And now this gold block is ours. And now we can keep looking for an underwater temple. Oh, I think I see one. Oh, I see one. I see a water temple. Oh, finally, we found one. Okay, we should need to kill the guardians and the elder guardians inside. Now, the guardians should be infinite, so let's just keep fighting them outside for now. Okay, one down. There we go, we got 30 guardians killed. Now we just gotta go find the elder guardians inside the temple. Oh, I found the elder guardian. I found one of them. Let's get him. We use these poles to just keep blocking the damage. Nice, we killed him. Oh, let's go. Okay, let's see if there's another one inside here. Because sometimes you can have up to three. I think I hear one. I found another Elder Guardian. Oh my god, there's two Elder Guardians in here. What the heck? There's two in here. I just need to kill one. I literally just need to kill one. Nice, he's done. He's done. We killed one. Now let's see if we can take out the other with our barbed tentacle. There we go. We killed all the Elder Guardians and the Guardians. So now we can finally head on home. Okay, it is day 36. And the last thing we need to unlock Constrict is six kills on the Fishermen. So let's quickly head to their base and grab all those kills. Okay, we're coming up on their base now. They built a wall around it. Be quick. They don't see us. Oh, wait. No, I think they left. The base is empty. The whole inside of this base is empty. I'm like 90% sure they left the base, which means they must have moved somewhere else. And since I actually encountered them over by the water temple, which is not close to here, by the way, I'm guessing that that means their new base is somewhere over that direction. So I'm going to head over there and start looking over in that area. Okay, I found a village and I know they love to live in villages. I think I just saw one. I'm near positive. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that is not natural. <laughs> That's a face. What is that? They're definitely here because they have a weird... Is that supposed to be a fish? Yeah, let's get in this building real quick. They're currently just at this fish what are they doing do you guys like my fish run yeah fish runs lit dude it's lit Whoa! oh we got found he's in the town he's in the town god that poison does so much we got him with the tentacle okay he's done we killed him with the tentacle oh god that hurts oh and the others are here we need to eat now the thing is tentacle kills don't count as kills on the fisherman all oh, that poison is brutal god we need to run we need to heal we need to heal okay we have to ink sack somebody he's blind he's blind he's blind Oh, that's fine. No, I'm dead. Nice, we got him, we got him, we got him. Ooh. Come this way and get up here. Oh, they didn't fall for that. I thought I'd lose them there. Ah, oh, I poisoned him again. Oh, no. No, he's got to be low, dude. Nice, we got him. We got two, we got two. Yeah. I'm coming, Luke. Nice, we got him. We got three. Oh, okay, we got three of the kills. Okay, see one of them over there. He doesn't see me right now. Let's quickly grab some of this wood. Turn it into planks for some quick blocks. And let's get on this roof. Okay, we did it. We did it. We got up here. Oh, he's trying to pull me down. Oh, he did. He did pull me down. Oh. Uh, no. Nice. We got him. Oh, it didn't count as a player kill, though. Nice. We got him. Whoa. Oh, he got us with that thing again. Blind. Nice. We got him. Let's go. We just need one more. We literally just need one more. Let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. Ready? He's blinded. Nice. We got him. That's all the six kills we need. Hey. Okay? Seal up. Oh, no, he's, built. he's coming up. He's coming up. Let's go. Ooh, oh, God, that hurts. Dive in the water. Put a little space in between us. 
Okay, let's open our upgrade menu. Let's go ahead and let's unlock constrict. And since we're here, let's try it out. Now, anyone who's within 15 blocks should automatically get stopped. Let him get close. Let's go this way. Ready? And... Oh! Let's go. Look at this. They can't do anything. Dude, what, what is this jump scare? Oh, my goodness. Let's go. They literally couldn't move. They were all stuck in my tentacles. Let's go. Okay, with Constrict unlocked, we are absolutely broken. Like, we absolutely destroyed the three of them all at once with that power. But we can't slow down now. You see, I'm still a basic squid. So I either can become a giant squid or unlock limb regrowth, which basically will let me heal myself. And since I did take a bunch of damage in that fight, and this isn't really that hard to unlock, let's quickly unlock limb regrowth, and then we'll become a giant squid. So to actually get the regrowth ability, we need 30 cooked pork chops, 9 regen potions, and 1 totem of undying so let's make this easy and let's start by killing a bunch of pigs and there we go that is all the pork chops that we need now we just gotta go ahead and cook these pork chops so let's throw them in here and let's wait for them to cook and there we go we've got all the cooked pork chops so now let's go to bed and now let's work on getting nine regen potions from the nether so let's go in the nether portal and let's find ourselves a nether fortress okay i see one literally right over there i can see their nether bricks okay let's build up to the nether fortress and now let's get ourselves some blaze rods and nether wards. I see a blaze spawner right here. Okay, we've got enough blaze rods. Now let's go look around this place and see if we can find ourselves some nether wards. Oh, I found some. Okay, we found the nether wards. Now all we need left is three gas tears, and we'll be able to make the regen potions. <laughs> Okay, we've got the three gas tears that we need. So now let's just go on home and make ourselves some regen potions. Okay, let's go into the nether portal. And now let's go. Oh, I heard TT. Go, go. He's here, he's here. Okay. Oh, light it. Let's get out of here. Oh, my God. Okay. I see him, I see him, I see him. Dead. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, lag. Okay, I killed one. You can't do anything against that one. There's one more below me. Dude, they just took out my base. The whole thing's destroyed. There's not even a chest left. He can't move. He's gonna blow himself up. I constricted him. Look. He literally blew himself up because he was stuck. <laughs> I blew myself up. <laughs> okay, quick. Let's see if we can recover from the Oh, there's literally nothing left we can recover. Oh, it's it's literally all gone. Okay, well, this base is literally dead. So I guess instead of making regen potions, we gotta build a new base instead. Okay, so I thought the base would last a lot longer than it did, but it's gone. So I worked on the new one until day 45. Okay, welcome to the brand new squid base. Okay, well, soon to be Kraken base, but not quite. We're still a squid. So let me give you a quick tour of the base. We got some fish in a fish tank, some anvils and smithing tables and brewing stands, all our chests, all our furnaces, our two enchanting tables, our bed, and our nether portal. And then there's this water spout, which is simply hidden below a coral. So if I simply just swim into this coral and swim down this hole, we are in the base. And even cooler about this base is if I go behind the nether portal, there's actually a hidden walkway that leads inside the fish tank. And then through the fish tank, there's another exit that simply spits out into the coral again. So anyway, with our base finished up, let's go ahead and let's start working on upgrades again. So obviously we still need to get the totem of undying to unlock limb regrowth. But before we go and get that totem, I want to start working on the three regen potions and quickly crafting them. So all we have to do is put a blaze powder in here, a blaze powder in here, and a blaze powder in here. Now we simply add another wart to each one of these, and that's going to turn the water bottle into an awkward potion. And then we're going to go ahead and add a gas tier, and that's going to turn it into a regen potion. And nine regen potions, which we'll simply store in here and hold on to for later, because the only thing we need left is a totem of undying to unlock limb regrowth. And to get a totem, I already have all the supplies we need in this chest right here. So let's go ahead and let's grab all these. Let's turn the glass into glass panes, and let's turn the sugar cane into paper. And now let's just go to a villager and turn them into a cartographer. Okay, now let's go find a villager we can turn into a cartographer. Here's one without a job right here. There we go. And now let's go ahead and trade him all our paper till he levels up from a novice into an apprentice. Now let's trade him all our glass panes. And now he has a gold icon. And now we can go ahead and get the woodland explorer map by simply trading him some emeralds in one of our compasses. And now all we gotta do is look at the map and we'll be able to find the woodland mansion. We're that tiny dot in the bottom left. And we gotta get to the house, which means we gotta go up and to the right, which is northeast. So let's just keep going because it can take a while to find these things. Oh, the map's starting to generate. Finally. Okay, we're getting close to this thing. I had a feeling when I saw us enter the dark oak biome, we were going to be close. Okay, if I head straight this way, I should find it. There we go. I see the woodland mansion. We are getting really close. We just got to aim to get inside and get on that roof and quickly grab a totem of undying and maybe even two totems. So that way we have an extra just to be safe. Okay, we're on the top floor. Let's break in. Oh, I literally see one right here. <laughs> Okay, I've constricted these small guys so they can't run. And there we go. Took them out nice and easy. 
Okay, we got one totem of undying, which is all we need, technically speaking. But I want to get a second one. Okay, no one in there. Okay, who are we gonna find? Empty. Oh, I heard one this way. No, all these rooms are empty. Okay, I've checked around this entire place. Only one totem of undying spawn. So since that's what we need, let's just go out of here and head on home. So that way we can unlock limb regrowth and start working on the giant squid. Okay, so with the totem of undying, a bunch of regen potions, and a bunch of pork chops, we can finally go ahead and do this upgrade. So let's unlock limb regrowth and let's try it out. So when I use the ability, you're gonna see I suddenly get regeneration two, resistance, and slowness. But when I use that, it basically makes me invincible for two to three seconds so I can heal, which will definitely save me from getting in any close calls with the fishermen since we've had a few already. Anyway, with that unlocked, let's go ahead and let's work on the big squid. Now to unlock the big squid, I'm gonna need 30 red mushrooms, 20 sponges, and 10 sea lanterns. So let's go to the dark oak biome nearby and grab some red mushrooms real quick. So since it's the easiest, let's go grab some red mushrooms at a dark oak biome nearby. Okay, that was easy. We've got the 30 red mushrooms we need. Okay, that was super easy. We got all 30 red mushrooms that we need. Now let's head back to that water temple. Now let's go back to the water temple and go grab some of those sponges. Okay, there should definitely be some sponges still in here. Okay, let's go and let's grab all these sponges. There we go. We've got all the sponges. Now while we're here, let's grab some sea lanterns. And now let's go and let's break all these crystals on the wall so we can get prismarine crystals. Because to actually craft a sea lantern, we're going to need 50 prismarine crystals and 40 prismarine shards. And now let's just kill a bunch of guardians for their prismarine shards. And then we'll be able to craft a bunch of sea lanterns. And there we go. We officially have enough prismarine shards. So now we can craft the 10 sea lanterns. And now let's throw our wet sponges inside of these furnaces to quickly dry up. Well, those are drying. Let's go ahead and let's craft ourselves all of the sea lanterns that we're gonna need. And there we go, just like that, we have the 10 sea lantern. Okay, let's grab all our sponges. And now we can finally stop being a basic squid. And we can turn ourselves into a giant squid. Hold up, you can't see it well in this base. Let's go outside. And now we can actually see what our brand new giant squid looks like. Anyway, now that our giant squid's unlocked, we only have six more upgrades in total to go. We have the colossal squid, the kraken, squidlings, squid and sulfur, alchemy tentacle, and and finally, Beast of the Sea, Land, and Air. Now next, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on a combat upgrade with the next one being Squidling. Now to unlock Squidlings, I need to kill 20 phantoms, meaning I can't really sleep anymore, eat three god apples, and kill the fishermen eight different times. So since we can't sleep, let's instead go look for some ancient cities where we can easily get some god apples. Oh, we may have found one. Oh yeah, we found one, we found an ancient city. Let's go, we found one. Okay, now we just need to get all these chests and find one that has a god apple inside. Down we go. Okay, let's get over to this tower and let's see if we got a god apple. We don't. Okay, let's go check out that chest down there. Okay, no god apple again. Once again, no god apple. This one's got a god apple. This one's got a god apple. We finally got one. And we got some disc fragments. Not that we need them. Okay, let's jump over here. Let's check out this chest. No god apple, but we did get some sick diamond legging. Okay, let's check this one out. We got another. We have another god apple. That's two. We literally just need one more. Just need one more. Okay, let's check these two chests. This one's clear. Let's check this one. Let's go. It has the last god apple we needed. Let's go. We can get out of here. Okay, we officially have all of the god apples that we need to unlock squidlings. So let's go ahead and let's eat them. One, two, and three. Now we just need to get some phantom kills and kill the fishermen, and squidlings will be ours. And the best part about squidlings is it will Summon a flying squid that sticks itself to players, making it so they can't see. Okay, so we're back home, and to finish up squidlings, we obviously need to kill some phantoms, which we should be able to start doing tonight. So while we wait for it to be nighttime, let's go ahead and let's start enchanting our armor so we can start getting some better enchants that are gonna be better than Protection 1, because Protection 1 is not cutting it right now. Okay, as you can see, it is currently nighttime outside, and as a giant squid in water, I move 10,000 miles an hour. Now all we have to do is wait for some phantoms to start spawning, and then we can start getting our phantom kills. Done. Ooh, I see some phantoms. Bring it on, buddies. You just gotta catch me first. I'm too fast for you. Okay, come here. Nice. Two down. One to go. And there we go. We got three phantoms killed. Oh, we got two more phantoms that spawn. Let's grab these guys. Oh, I hear phantoms spawning right here. Oh, we killed two. Let's get all three. Oh, yes, sir. Goodbye. I'll see you later, son. Oh, I see fishermen. I see fishermen. I see fishermen. The question is, did he see me? Let's go the opposite direction. Let's, let's put some space in between us. Go this way. Oh, no, I can't leave. There's phantoms here. I need these phantom kills. Let's get them quick. Let's get them quick. They may not see us in time. Okay, kill this one. One down. Okay, I don't see any fishermen. Oh, they're coming. No. Oh, they're gonna definitely find me. Bro, oh, what is this thing? That's oh, not a squid God. anymore, bro. Squid. That's Cthulhu. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I dodged it. Okay, we're good. Let him dive bomb me. Okay, we killed him, we killed him, we killed him. Okay, let's go back to the water. Oh! Yeah, you wanna fight me in the water? Do you see how fast I am? Oh my Wait. god, he goes so fast in the water. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going in the water. Look how quick Ah! Okay, he still hit me. In the water, we are invincible to them. We are much faster. 
Okay, they're coming in. Let's back up. Let's get him deep out in this water. In fact, let's pull one of them out in the water, shall we? We got him. We got him. He's poisoned, dude. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this. Swim fast away. We can drag him to us. Ready? Drag him away from his friends. I'm alive. Swim at him really fast. <gasps> got him. He's done. One's down. He's drowning. Oh, we can get him here. Good. I gotta go up. Oh, save me, Luke. Let me get in your boat. Luke. No. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here uh, get me out of here, man. No. <laughs> no he's, he's dead. Nice. We got him. One more to go. He's done. Let's grab him with our tentacle. Oh, yes. We got him with the tentacle. And we picked up his poison harpoon. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I now have a trident. No, I want. He wants his trident back. Let's go. I didn't even know I was allowed to steal their weapon, but I guess I can. Anyway, it's now daytime, so no more phantoms are going to spawn. So we'll wait for tonight to actually go find some more phantoms, as we only need to kill about 10 more. Okay, the phantoms are finally spawning back in. Come here. Okay, one down. Two down. Nice. We got them both. Oh my god, three more just spawned. Okay, we just got to kill this one. This is the last phantom we need. Let's go! We got all the phantom kills we need, which means we literally just need to get six more kills on the fishermen, and we'll have unlocked squidlings. Okay, their base is literally up here. We're gonna go in really quick. Look how fast we swim. Oh, what was that? Ah! They have nets that can give me wither? That's ridiculous. Okay, where's their base? Okay, it's this one right here. Oh my god, they have nets everywhere on this thing. Let's break in. Okay, we found their bed. There's one bed. We need to get all the kills here. We got one of their beds destroyed. Okay, we gotta kill him. Get no. out of this. Okay, let's go back outside the base. Let's go this way. Nice, we're out. Okay, let's quickly eat some food. And let's set off of our first TNT. I'm gonna keep their beds there for a moment. Okay, here we go. Ready? And they're stuck. Okay, I killed another one. That's four kills. Nice, that's five kills. We got two of them. Piece of our armor just broke. Oh, we got him low. We got him low. Okay, we got him. We got him. That's six kills. Oh, I was shielding though. I got an idea. Let's use our own poison thing against them. He's low. Yes, there we go. We got him. Let's grab this poison trident. We just need one more kill. Okay, he's poisoned. Nice, we got him. That's all the kills we need. Let's unlock squidlings and let's summon one of these squids because we're definitely going to need to get away. Get him, buddy. Okay, he's blind. See? Oh, I'm what? being sucked. He can't see with that squid on his head. We just got to destroy their beds now. Both beds destroyed. Set off the TNT and swim over here. There we go. Nice. We have taken them out. And we officially unlocked squidlings, which was super cool. I mean, it literally suctioned onto his face. Anyway, with all those kills done, let's head on home. And now that we're home, the next upgrade we're going to work on is called Alchemy Table. And to unlock it, we need three brewing stands, 128 glass bottles, and 128 nether warts. So let's go to the nether and let's start by grabbing all those nether warts because 128 nether warts is a lot. So we're either going to need to find multiple fortresses or start a nether wart farm which speaking of another reward farm let's actually go ahead and dig out this corner real fast and let's put a bunch of soul sand down on the floor now let's add a bunch of nether warts and now we search for nether warts we'll have some growing for us back at home so let's go to the nether and let's go grab some more okay we found some more nether warts we actually found a couple sets of nether warts and so currently we have 40 nether warts so since that's all the nether warts at this fortress let's bring these home add them to our farm and then let's see how many we have from there okay our nether warts have grown in a little bit but not that much so we're gonna go and actually plant the rest of the nether warts we just grabbed and we're gonna let these keep growing while we go back to the nether and get even more nether warts. I went back and forth between the nether and my farm for about three days till I had 128 nether warts that I needed. Okay, I think there should definitely be enough nether warts between the ones that have grown in and the ones we've planted. So let's just go and let's break them and let's find out how many we have. Okay, we definitely have more than enough. So let's go ahead and take the 128 we need and keep those right there. Let's just replant the rest in case we need more nether warts later. And there we go. We're done with our nether warts. So now all we need is a bunch of glass bottles and some brewing stands, which we already have three brewing stands we can steal. So let's just start smelting all this sand we have, and let's turn this glass that it makes into all the glass bottles that we're gonna need. While the sand was smelting, I went ahead and started enchanting a diamond pickaxe to see if I could get silk touch, as I was gonna need that for one of the later upgrades. And our sand's done. Now let's turn our glass into glass bottles, and just like that, we have two stacks of glass bottles. So now if we simply go over here and grab three of our brewing stands, we can go ahead and unlock the alchemy tentacle. And when I unlock it, it looks like nothing happened, because for this to work, I need ink sacks. So let me quickly take some damage, because because if I eat any food at all, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get one ink sack. So if I eat another chicken, boom, two ink sacks. And now if I can open up this special menu where I can select a potion. As an example, let's go ahead and let's select a throwable potion of strong harming. Now the more stuff I add to it, the more it costs. A normal potion costs one ink sack, a throwable costs two, and a lingering costs three. So since we have two ink sacks, let's make a throwable potion of strong harming, click the build button, and now we get that potion. That's how overpowered the alchemy tentacle is. I can simply trade ink sacks for potions. Okay, now that we've gone ahead and unlocked the alchemy ability,
ability? Let's now unlock our fourth squid, the Colossal Squid, which requires 500 dried kelp, yes, 500, 128 coral, and 30 sea pickles. Now, none of that is really that difficult since we already live near a bunch of warm oceans. Let's just go get the dried kelp for now, and we'll get the coral and stuff later. Okay, here's a bunch of kelp. Let's start grabbing. Okay, we've definitely got enough kelp. Now we just gotta turn it into dried kelp. Now to dry out kelp, we literally just need to smelt it. So let's go back to the base and throw it in the furnace. Okay, all of our kelp is currently smelting and turning into dried kelp. Once it's done, we'll have the 500 kelp we need. But for now, let's start working on the coral and sea pickles. Let's quickly go to sleep and then go out and get the coral and sea pickles we need. Now, I would take the coral from near here, but this is where my base is and I really don't want the fishermen to find it. So I'm not gonna mess with that coral reef. Instead, I'm simply gonna take from this one and grab all of the sea pickles and coral I need. Oh! Fishermen are above me. Let's see if we can get rid of their boats. I grab one of their boats. Okay, one of them's boatless. Let's grab this guy in the barbed tentacle. Nice, we got him. We're pulling him in. Now let's stop him from moving. Nice, we got him. He's dead. We already got rid of one. We just gotta pull them away. That's how an octopus fights, baby. Let's go. We got him. We got him. Let's pull him in again. <laughs> Oh my god, he's dragging me. No! You can't stop the octopus's tentacles, baby. Okay, there's one more. Oh, he's trying to set up nets everywhere. That's not gonna save you. Oh, we got him. Let's go. Anyway, they're dead. Let's go back to collecting our coral. And just like that, we've officially have all the sea pickles and coral. So let's go grab our dried kelp at home. And then we can upgrade into a colossal squid. Now we have everything we need to become a colossal squid. Let's now upgrade from a giant squid into a colossal squid. You can see I'm not only a lot bigger, but I also now have an anchor stuck to my head. And a bunch of battle scars. And in the water, I go even faster now. On top of that, I also have extra blocks of reach now strength three and 40 total hearts and so with this amazing kraken upgrade unlocked we are one step away from the final form the kraken okay so we are back in the base and now when i go into f5 i literally can x-ray through walls so this is great but yeah now that we're a colossal squid we only have three more upgrades to go the kraken squid and sulfur and beast of the sea land and air now you're gonna notice a lot of these require stuff from the end so we're gonna go to the end right now so let's first go in our nether portal which of course i don't fit in anymore. Okay, we fit our portal now. Now let's go to the nether. Okay, so first things first, let's go grab ourselves some blaze rods. Okay, we're at the blaze spawner. Now we just gotta wait for some blazes to spawn and get their blaze rods. Look how OP I am. I can hit the blazes from all the way back here. And there we go. I've got all the blaze rods I need, so let's get out of here. Okay, so we're currently at a bastion and I'm trying to get inside because I need to grab a bunch of gold from this place. Okay, there's no gold blocks in this chest. This one also doesn't have any gold in it. Okay, this chest has a gold block in it and a few gold ingots. And there we go. We now have 17 blocks of gold. Okay, I've given all my gold to the piglins. Now we'll just wait in this hole and see what they trade me. Okay, it looks like the piglins are done trading. So let's see how many ender pearls are in their hole. Okay, in total, we got 15 ender pearls. Okay, well, that's everything we need right now to make the eyes of ender. So let's head on home, get our gear in order, and then let's go fight the end dragon. Now let's go ahead and let's combine all of our blaze rods together with our ender pearls, and we're gonna go ahead and get a bunch of eyes of ender. Now we're pretty much ready to go, except our armor is pretty beat up. So let's make some backup armor real quick, just in case it breaks. And now that we got full diamond armor, let's get this enchanted as well. And now with some enchanted diamond armor, we're ready to get going. So let's stand over here and let's throw an eye of ender. Okay, it looks like we're going this way. Let's go this way and keep throwing these eyes till we find this end portal. <gasps> oh, I see the fishermen. Did they see me? I don't think they saw me. Dude, wait, I see him. He's at the coast yeah. behind where, where? us, behind us. He's over there. Oh, wait, no, he saw me. Okay, let's get him with our ink and blind him. We got him. He's blind. Now the question is, do I fight these guys? Because they could just follow me to the end portal. So I'm torn if I run or fight. You know what? Let's fight for a sec. Oh my goodness. I can't hit anything. You know what? I can't anything. We're running. Now, I'm much faster than they are in the water. Dude, he's in the water. I'm, oh, I'm on no, my boat. Don't. I'm chasing him. They're gonna grab boats. Okay, let's break their boats. And let's go. Oh, go. Yeah, they're right on my tail. Okay, we can ditch him here. We have a good straightaway. Oh, yeah, we're losing him. Oh, God, it's all land. The eye's going this way towards land. It looks like we have to go up here. Let's try going up here. Okay, this way. It turned around. It turned around. We just passed it. Okay, they're on me. They're on me. Let's see if we can lose them here at all. Now, let's start digging down. We gotta be quick about this. Oh, I see the portal room. It's right below us. We have to drop right in here. Okay, let's eat some chicken before going in. I have an idea here. And we're in. Okay, we covered up. Let's go in. Not a good spot to be. Let's quickly get out of here. Let's move fast before they come in. Nice. We made it. We made it to the end island. Okay, looks like they're entering the end. Here they come. Okay, let's use our tentacle grapple to start getting up here. So I should be able to right-click this and it should launch me up here so I can easily get it. Nice. Okay, let's grapple to the next one. There we go. We made it. And it's broken, but they poisoned me. Okay, let's grapple to this one. We're almost done. Let's take it out. And let's quickly heal. Let's use that. Let's use the limb regrowther. And let's quickly actually get ourselves a health potion. Oh god, he's coming. He's trying to get me. We hit him down. He's we're good, we're good, we're good. 
Oh, we killed him. Let's go. Okay, let's quickly ma make a long health potion. There we go. We got a strong healing potion. Let's build it. Now let's drink it and use our ability. And now we're healing even more health. Okay, now let's grapple up there so they'll stop destroying me. Now let's use our barbed tentacle and start getting the dragon from afar. Okay, the dragon's back at the center. We're gonna go down and go for him. You're the one who's poisoning me. Oh, you're done. Okay, he's dead. We got him. We got him off. No! I'm dead. Dude, whoa. Do not get in a melee fight with him. Okay, we have extra range, so I don't have to worry too much about fighting these guys. One down, two down. Okay, they're really weak, but they keep coming back. They must have beds outside the portal. Oh, God. They're back on us. They're back on us. Let's use squidlings and blind them. Nice. We got him. Whoa, this is one intense fight. We killed it. We killed it. Okay, we just gotta get the egg. We just gotta get the egg. Oh, God. How am I gonna do this? I have to break nine blocks. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, did they just take it? He just literally got the egg. See ya. Oh, no, he got I need the egg to become a kraken and they just took it from me. He just said got your egg They literally wanted the egg. Okay. I'm gonna see if he'll trade the trident. I took earlier for it Oh, actually. Yeah, let me talk with my teammates. Oh, no, we don't negotiate with squids Okay, so it sounds like that's a no deal. They're keeping the egg But we'll worry about getting it back later for now Let's go to the outer end because we still need to get elytra shulker shells and chorus fruit as well as a dragon head to finish up Everything in the end. Okay, we're in the outer end. What is this spawn platform? I spawned in like 10 blocks. Anyway, we gotta go find an end city that specifically has an end ship so we can get Elytra and the dragon head. After just a couple days of looking, I was able to find an end city that had an end ship with the Elytra I needed. Please be an end ship this time. No, it doesn't. Wait. <gasps> yes, there is one. We can get everything else we need in the end at this end city. Okay, I'll let these guys spit on me real quick so they'll send me upward. Okay, we're in the ship. Let's break the floor and go down here and now start carving a path through the ship so we can get the Elytra. And there we go. Now let's just grab some of these diamonds. Ooh, a sharpness three diamond sword. What do I have? Sharpness one. That wins. And that's all we need from right here. And now let's get that dragon head on the front of the ship. Now let's grab the dragon head. And now we almost have everything we need. We just need to go ahead and grab some chorus fruit, which is super easy to do. Just come over here to these things and chop them down. So we've got all the chorus fruit that we need, which actually means we have everything we need to unlock the Beast of the Sea, Land, and Air upgrade, which is going to give me the ability to fly. Now let's activate our new ability. When I use it, you're going to notice I now can fly like I'm in creative mode, which is going to make it super easy to get home. So let's quickly just fly there. Okay, so I need to obviously get the dragon egg back if I want to turn into the Kraken. I know the fishermen can't destroy the egg. It's against the rules, but they are allowed to hide it, meaning it could literally be anywhere. But either way, I'm not going to worry about that for now i'm gonna get the other piece of the kraken upgrade which is the nether star so to do that i gotta kill a wither so let's go ahead to the nether and go take on some wither skeletons okay we have got the three wither skeleton skulls that we need anyway i'm out of here i got all three skulls we're gonna grab some soul sand and go fight a wither okay so let's go with let's spawn a wither right here let the battle begin colossal squid versus wither and just like that, the wither's dead. And now we have the nether star we need, meaning all we need is that dragon egg, and we can turn into a kraken. Our final squid evolution. Okay, it's time to get the last combat upgrade, because we literally haven't even started on it yet, and it's kind of grindy. I need to kill 50 creepers, explode 50 TNT, and kill the fisherman 10 times. So let's get the grindy part out of the way, and quickly get 50 creeper kills. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We got all the creeper kills we need. And we definitely have enough gunpowder to make the TNT we need for the explosions. So it was good I started with the creeper kills. Anyway, let's quickly go back to the base. Let's make some sticks. And let's go in. Let's quickly make a diamond shovel. Now let's enchant that shovel with efficiency four. And let's grab a bunch of sand. Okay, that should definitely be enough sand. And now we can craft a bunch of TNT. Now let's go ahead and let's light off the TNT. And there we go. We officially blew up 30 TNT and have killed 50 creepers, meaning all we have to do left is get 10 kills on that fisherman and we can get the last combat upgrade, squid and sulfur. If I'm actually gonna go to the fisherman's base, I gotta get the dragon egg back. And I know because they haven't attacked me that they're definitely waiting for me to come get that egg. Because I'm assuming they must have some crazy trap set up or something where they're ready to try and get a sneaky kill on me. So let's go look for the brand new fisherman hideout and let's purposely fall for their trap. And so until day 81, I looked around for the fisherman's base. And when I did find it, it was time to battle for my egg back. What is that hole? I just saw a giant hole. Oh, wait. Oh, this is their base. Look. They don't even know I'm above. They don't realize I can fly. Hello. Dude, I scared them so bad. Oh, what? You think I can't get inside that puny glass dome? You want to see a magic trick? I destroyed your base. I love messing with them, dude. This is just our egg containment. Oh, wait, this isn't their base. Oh, where's the hole? Is it down that giant hole? <gasps> it literally is. Ow, dude, this poison is... Okay, you know what? Let's get the egg. Let's just get the egg. Okay, I don't want this to break, so we gotta go down below. Put torches all down here. Now we're gonna break this. Fall on the torch. Give me the egg. Oh, that did a ton of damage. Ow! Okay, I need to dig up. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. He's down there? All right, nice. Okay, 
Let's just go. What is that? What did that just do? We're almost dead. We're literally almost dead. Dude, they just put Curse of Binding leather armor on me. Wait, what? Is that what this was? This some trap? Okay, let's fly out this way. I'm not gonna climb that ladder. We're just gonna fly out this way. Oh, he's behind us. I forgot he could fly. <laughs> okay, I hit one of them down the hole. He's dead. Okay, I think they're all dead because I destroyed the beds that were here. But I definitely got the dragon egg, which is what I came for. They said this wasn't their base. It was just where they were keeping the egg, which honestly makes sense because this base was tiny. So the question is, where's their main base? Because I still need to get eight more kills on them. Okay, so we are officially going to be able to turn into a kraken. Say goodbye to our colossal squid and hello to the final upgrade, the kraken. The kraken is absolutely massive. I have 80 hearts of HP, strength five, speed five. Oh, and of course I can still fly. So yeah, the Kraken is broken and absolutely huge. I mean, look at me compared to this cactus. And with our technical powers, we are going to be unstoppable. Anyway, there's only one more upgrade to go and we just need to get eight more kills on the fisherman and we'll be a fully upgraded Kraken. But first things first, I gotta find a way to get rid of this curse of binding armor. So I'm gonna take off my helmet and my leggings, grab some iron ingots from my base and let's craft ourselves a couple buckets. Now let's fill those buckets with lava and let's set ourselves on fire. Now let's see how fast the armor starts to break yeah, pretty quickly so now let's put ourselves out in some water real quick and do it all again and there we go i heard it break and the chest plate is gone meaning now we can go back to having full diamond armor and now that we're done with that let's go to sleep and tomorrow we'll go get the remaining kills on the fisherman let's keep going this way then wait what is that how did they build that no what mm. That scream schematic. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm fishy in this base. This must be the main base they were talking about, but this this is ridiculous. Okay, let's take this base on because we got to get eight more kills on them. So let's start with you. Since you're stuck, then you, and finally you. You see, when I'm flying, I automatically get critical hits. Let's spawn some friends that can blind them. See, there we go. We're getting all the kills we need super fast. I I true. I don't even have a chance. Nine and a half hearts in one hit every time. You're dead. And we already have all 10 kills we need. As a Kraken, our range is so far, I can hit him all the way over here. Look at this. No. I see one of them spawning on this tiny boat. Let's go ahead. Let's take that boat out. Well, that's sure not good. I took out your other boat. Now let's go ahead. Let's take out this boat. There we go. I carved a giant hole right through the middle of it. Okay, now that we have the last combat quest complete, let's go ahead and leave them alone because I think destroying their base should definitely slow them down for a while because we only have to survive for like 15 more days. Okay, let's unlock the last combat ability on day 85, Squid and Sulfur, which means we no longer take blast damage and we officially become a fountain for TNT, which sounds weird, but let me show you what it does over here. So if I activate this ability, you're going to see I start just shooting TNT in a bunch of random directions if I spam it. And I can just spam this by the way and this uses no energy i can just keep spamming out tnt as much as i want nothing is stopping me like look at this now wherever that tnt explodes you're gonna notice turns black and that's because if they get hit by my tnt they get inked again so they're also blind anyway with our final ability unlocked we are a full strength kraken anyway i still have to survive for 15 more days but since i destroyed the fisherman's base i know it's gonna be a while till they can attack so for now i'm gonna go ahead and fix up my base to be a little bit more kraken friendly because right now i barely fit with the fisherman base destroyed it gave me some time to fix up my base so i could fit in it because my kraken has become way too big i hear blocks breaking why oh the fishermen are here hold on let's get out of here i'm gonna start placing tnt boys oh no they're blowing my base never mind Oh god, swim out of here, swim out of here. The base is gone. <gasps> there we go, that's what we're looking for. This top right chest had some stuff in it. Oh, dude. Okay, if the base is toast anyway, let's go in there and just start breaking it apart. Ready? It's gonna be easier for us to fight this way. Okay, one's down. I can't see anything, I'm dead. Okay, two down. There's a bunch of sharks everywhere. Let's kill the sharks. And let's see how you do against a bunch of TNT raining down on you, huh? Oh, he's trying to swim away. Okay, fine, let's just... Look, now we can't move. And there we go. He's dead. They may have taken out my base, but they didn't take out the Kraken. Okay, I wasn't really able to recover much from the base, but luckily I do have the supplies to make a bed. So let's quickly fly over here on top of this Mesa Mountain. Let's build ourselves a little platform. Let's make a crafting table and now quickly make ourselves a bed. Now let's go to sleep. And now it's day 92. So obviously we're super strong as the Kraken. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fly and stay moving. And I don't think they're ever gonna be able to catch me. So that's what I'm gonna do. After running from the hunters for days, we decided in chat that we were gonna duke it out with one final 
final battle. Otherwise, this game would already be over. Okay, we're going to spawn. This is where they wanted to have the final battle. I agreed to this because I'm that confident I'm gonna win. Where they want to take me in one final battle for all the marbles. And they said they were gonna battle me at spawn. The question is, did they fix up their ship? Oh, I see. They just built an obsidian vault, which isn't a bad plan because my ability that lets me ram through things doesn't work on obsidian. Anyway, let's start dealing with these pests and getting inside that vault. Oh, wow, they can take more than two hits now. Oh, it's five hits now. Oh, we're gonna be spawning up here. Oh, hello. Oh my God, look at all these sharks. We won't worry about it. it. Looks like they're really slow. Okay, we killed another one. Let's kill the sharks. I can't see anything, bro. Oh my God. Bro, did he break my armor with his thorns? He did, he broke my armor with thorns. Oh my God. That thorns is brutal. Okay, they got me down halfway. Let's eat some food and let's use our healing ability. And now let's raid some TNT from above. Oh my God, he's flinging TNT all over the place. Oh my God, he's dropping TNT. Let's go ahead and blind them. Attack my squidlings. I can't even hit him, dude. Dude, I can't see anything. And while they deal with that, I'm gonna start breaking through the floor. We're almost through. Stay trapped in there, my friend. Stop. <laughs> Okay, I can tell they're really starting to get mad. Let's go in. Let's do it. Let's destroy their beds. We just have to break a big enough hole in the ceiling and we can break their beds. Let's, let's break a hole right here. We can break their beds from here. Taking our beds. Is he really? I broke all their beds. I just got to kill them now. I just got to kill them now. Bring it on, you three. What are you going to do against the Kraken? Then again, in fact, let's go and let's have some fun. Hey, you guys want to know a secret? Did you know that I can literally what? hold you here the rest of the game? And there's nothing you can do about it? I can literally keep you. Oh, you're just going to leave? <laughs> there's something we can do. But because you guys leave, you know what that means. The Kraken wins. Thanks for watching.